Hey court chasers, how are you? I hope you're fine and healthy. With that healthy vibe, we will start our video today. I am Adil Lakshman Etiketti. Welcome to our channel, Court Chasers. In this video, we will see how to slice a list by using negative indexing with a positive step as well as a negative step. Okay. Again, I am reminding you or requesting you to know what is a slicing in Python. I have made this videos, okay, Python full course 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22, okay, slicing part 1 to part 5 are actually important videos to know what is slicing in Python. I request you all to please go and check out these videos. Those videos will let you know the slicing from scratch, okay. The slicing of a string is very much similar to slicing of a list, okay. In string slicing, we have two methods, array slicing method and list slicing method, okay. So, in list, we use list slicing method, okay, which is very much similar to the list slicing method in string, okay. Just you have to replace that string with the list, that's it. That's why I am asking to please go and check out these five parts of slicing so that you can understand the concept of slicing, positive indexing, negative indexing, positive step and negative step clearly. Keeping that in mind, we will start our video to slice a list with negative indexing in Python. See, we, we will slice this list through negative indexing now. So, we will take the same example. The output that I need is code. Okay, C-O-D-E here. Code. So, to achieve this output through negative indexing, we will see how we will do it. See, code C-O-D-E, right? So, if at all you observe negative indexing, each and every element in the list will be assigned an index. We already know that. But in negative indexing, the indexing bit changes. Okay. In positive indexing, the positions will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Right. In negative indexing, I, I, have, I was just pressing on this point. If at all you find this negative symbol, you treat that the Python is traveling from back to front. Okay. Back to front. Okay, in negative indexing, obviously a negative sign will be there, right? Name itself is saying it is a negative indexing. So, negative in negative sign will obviously be there. So, always start from back to front. Okay, when you come from back to front, the very first index that you encounter here is minus 1. Negative indexing always starts with minus 1. You please remember this, okay? Minus 1, okay? So, it will start from minus 1. As we are coming from back, R will come first, right? R will hold an index of minus 1, E will hold an index of minus 2, S will hold an index of minus 3, A will hold an index of minus 4 and so on, C will be holding an index of minus 10. So, to slice this through negative indexing, I am using the same method that we have used in positive indexing, list, list slicing method. I will use a start parameter, stop parameter and then I will use a step parameter. As of now, you please ignore the step parameter. Okay, we will concentrate only on start and stop parameters. Okay, so to achieve the target that is scored, C. C is starting at which position? Okay, C is starting at index number minus 10, right? So, my starting position will be minus 10 and C, O, D, E. The elements are ending at E. That means we need this part of code. Okay, so the last element that we need to slice is E minus 7, right? Minus 7 is the one that up to which we need to slice. Okay. So, I have said st stop parameter is exclusive. So, we need to give an index which is ahead of the element that we need. We, we need E, right? And the index that it is carrying is minus 7. The index which is 1 ahead than the required index is. Here, the required index is minus 7. The one which is ahead minus 7 is 1 which is after minus 7 is minus 6. So, we need to give here minus 6. Okay. Minus 6 is my stop parameter. Minus 10 is my start parameter. This is how we can slice by using negative indexing in Python. Okay. We will see this particular code in practice session. So, I will take the same example and I will do it in the practice session. Okay. I have taken the list, list 1 which contains elements C, O, D, E, C, H, A, S, E, R. Okay. Now, I am slicing the way that I have sliced here, okay. My slicing should be list 1 square braces minus 10 to minus 6, right. Minus 10 is the index of C, okay. The output that we need is C, O, D, E, 
minus 10 is the index of C and if at all you see the index of E is minus 7. So we need to give an index which is after minus 7 that is minus 6. I am actually printing the same way that we have sliced in our theoretical session list 1 of minus 10 to minus 6. Okay. I am executing the code. I am executing the code. Now my output is as required. Okay. CODE got printed. Okay. The character CODE got printed. This is the way how we have to slice through negative indexing. Okay. Now we will see how we can slice it through negative indexing with a positive step. That means like we will see, we will take a scenario, the same scenario that we have taken in positive indexing. We need to print output C, D, C, A, E, which are highlighted in red color. Okay. Which are highlighted in red color. We need to print this. Okay. So how can we print this? By using negative indexing. Okay. The very starting letter C, C is starting, right? The starting letter is carrying an index of what? Minus 10. Okay. List 1. The starting letter is carrying an index of minus 10. Okay. Now, C, C, D, C, A, E. It is traveling in this particular direction, right? So, which step we need to use? If at all it is going from front to back, we need to use a positive step. Okay. We need to use a positive step that is clear now. So, we, we, we have to use a positive step. This is for step, this is for stop, this is for start. Okay, now we will come to stop parameter. Okay, we, it is stopping at what? It is stopping at E, right? E, we need this particular slices. C, D, C, A, E. What is the index position of C? Sorry, what is the index position of E here? Minus 2. And what is the index position which is repeating, which is coming after minus 2. Now we are in this particular way, right? We are in this particular way. That is this particular way from front to back. The index which is coming after minus 2 here is minus 1. So we need to keep the stop parameter as minus 1. Okay. Now how many steps we are moving ahead for each and every element from minus 10? See, we need this particular elements, right? So, C is carrying minus 10, D is carrying minus 8 position, C is carrying minus 6 position. If at all you observe, there is a gap of 2 here, okay? Okay, there is a gap of 2 here, minus 10 and minus 2. There is a gap of 2, right? So, if at all you want to calculate it, okay? So, what is the uh, position that we encountered? Like, between these two, what is the position which we encountered last minus 8, right? So, we will try to, let's treat this as a bigger number. This is obviously a bigger number than minus 10. And the initial step is minus 10, right? What, if at all you confuse between steps, what you do is, you subtract. Just subtract, okay? That is equal to minus 8, minus 8, minus 8, minus, minus, plus 10. So, it will be 2, okay? Step will be 2. Now, if at all you see, the, between these two, minus 8 to minus 6, the one which we encounter late between these two step between these two indexes is between minus 8 and minus 6 is minus 6 right you write it first and then you subtract it from the element the index that we encounter first we encounter minus 8 first right minus of minus 8 okay minus x plus minus minus of minus plus that will be 2 step will be 2 okay you can confirm the step like this if at all you can confuse or else like you can directly by seeing like from minus 1 to minus 8, we have to cross this, right? 1. And then second step is minus 8. That is a D. So we need to print D. From D to C, again 2 steps. C to A, again 2 steps. So my answer will be this one. List 1. My start parameter will be minus 10. Stop will be minus 1. And step will be plus 2. Okay, this will give an output. This output. Okay, the required output. We will see this particular coding. In coding session. Okay. I have taken the same example here. List 1 which contains elements code chaser. That is character C, O, D, E, C, H, A, S, E, R. Okay. If at all we blindly apply this. List 1, minus 10, minus 1, plus 2 slicing. So, I am just printing. Okay. Print. L, I, S, T. List 1, slicing starts at minus 10. Right. And my stop parameter is minus 1. And my step parameter is plus 2. 
So if at all I execute this, see, I will get CD CAE, which is the which is the expected output here. CD CAE, this particular output we are targeting, right? This that output we got it here. CD CAE. Okay, the indexing the slicing started at minus ten index and it went up to till minus one index with a step parameter two. Okay, this is how we can slice a list by using negative indexing with a positive step. Okay, now we will see how can we slice a list through negative indexing but through negative step. We will try to achieve the reverse of this scenario. Okay, the reverse of this scenario. So for the reverse of this scenario, we will see in first in theoretical session. Now we will see negative step. Okay, now what do we need output? We need output just the reverse of the previous string, previous output, right? See, C, D, C, A, E. I need E, A, C, D, C. Okay, E, A, C, D, C. Right, E, A, C, D, C. So, E, A, C, D, C. So, the, the pattern is going in this way, right? From back to front, okay? From this back to front pattern, we confirmed that the step should be minus. Then only Python will travel from back to front, okay? My list one, start, stop, and then step. So, one thing is confirmed. Here, the step should be negative, okay? Step is negative. And what is the index which is coming first in our way? We need E, A, C, D, C, right? E, A, C, D, C. We are going in this particular way, okay? The very first required element in our path is E. E is carrying an index minus 2. So, minus 2 will be carried here in the start index, okay? Now, we are traveling, traveling, traveling and we are encountering the variables, right? Sorry, we are encountering the elements here. E, A, C, D, C. See, this is my last element. Oh my God. If at all, we don't have any elements. After the element that we need to slice, we know what to do. We have to leave this blank, right? Okay, we left it blank. And then we will see the step that we need to give here, okay? From E to A, what is the step that we can observe here? Minus 2 to minus 4, okay? Minus 2 to minus 4, we are observing a step of 2, okay? Step will be obviously minus 2. We know why. Because the direction is from back to front. Okay. Back to front. That's why we, we give negative step. Okay. Now here, a step of 2 we can observe. From minus 4 to minus 6, we can observe a step of 2. Okay. That's why we have to give the step parameter as 2. Now my answer is least 1. If at all I slice from starting index minus 2. And if at all I don't give stop parameter with a step parameter minus 2, we will get the required output. This is the way how we have to slice a list through negative indexing that two through negative step okay we will see this through in our coding section okay now i am taking the code like i am taking the list c o d e c h a s e r chaser code chaser i am taking the list which we have already taken in our last example i am just printing by slicing the list i will just blindly slice the way we sliced the theoretical session from minus 2, we need to slice start index will be minus 2 and stop we don't need to give because that was the end, end, C was the end, this C is the end, if it all we come from back, this C is the end of the list, there is no element after the element that we need to slice, we need to slice this element, there is no element after the element C, so we need to leave this blank, the step that we need to give here is minus 2. Okay, minus 2. Sorry, minus 2. Okay, if at all, I run this code. Now, my code is EACDC. Okay, which is the required output, EACDC. So, this is how you slice a string by negative indexing through a positive step and a neg negative step. I hope you found this video useful and you understood the concept of negative slicing in the list. We will meet in our next video. Thank you so much. One quick and important information. There are three courses running parallelly in our channel. Course 1, Python full course. Course 2, PySpark with Hadoop full course. These two courses are designed for beginners and they are designed in such a way that a person who doesn't have any knowledge in any coding language can also easily understand the content in this course.
so please do follow if you are interested and the third course is python interview preparation this course is designed for those people who are preparing for python based interviews in this course most frequently asked python interview questions were taken and they have been answered with live coding sessions for each and every questions if needed so if you like my work please do subscribe to our channel and like the video and click on the bell icon to get notified about the updates of our channel thank you so much